people who watch Congress know that this is real important, that there might be some cuts. But until they actually pass the legislation that makes the cuts, and that would be next year in 2012 to begin in 2013, you need to be nervous. You need to watch it like a hawk. This is At Brookings, a weekly in-depth look at issues behind the news. This week, the Super Committee's failure and its impact on poverty. The Congressional Super Committee's inability to reach a compromise on the budget has set the stage for deep cuts in federal programs, including those that help the poor in a struggling economy. While Congress may yet make changes to the automatic spending cuts, known as sequestration, expert Ron Haskins says there has already been a bipartisan effort to protect many of the programs for the poor. Ron, the Super Committee failed to do its job, so that means that there are going to be some automatic cuts going into play. Will programs for the poor be affected by these automatic cuts? If you cut spending, presumably some, pe some people are going to be worse off. <clears throat> now, again in its wisdom, the Congress did protect programs for the poor quite substantially in the automatic across the board. Which, that's a little misleading because they're not truly across the board. But the broad cuts, the $1.2 trillion sequestration, many of the programs for the poor are totally protected. So if Congress followed that law the way it's written, then big programs like supplemental security income and, uh, and Medicaid uh, and uh, other big programs would be school lunch, would be completely protected. There would be no cuts at all. But not every program for the poor was protected. So the housing programs would be open to cuts and indeed they're going to get cuts if the Congress does the law the way it was implemented. And the same thing is true of WIC. The, a feeding program for poor uh, women and children. Well, virtually nothing that Congress does is absolutely cut into stone, including these austerity measures. So there is a chance that things could change yet again. Congress could change any of this. There's nothing in any law that says to a future Congress, you can't do so and so, or even in the same Congress later in that Congress. In fact, a lot of people are afraid now that Congress will dramatically change the across-the-board cut and we won't get $1.2 trillion in cutting. What role is partisanship playing in, get, in doing the right thing, coming up with a good plan? My own view is that partisanship is, it certainly is much less of a problem uh, when it comes to programs for the poor. So for example, I offer as evidence that when the sequestration was built into the law that was signed uh, as part of the debt ceiling deal, that programs for the poor were largely protected, and both sides agreed to that. Um, that same thing happened back in Graham Rudman Hollings back in the 1980s. So that, to me, that shows that there is some bipartisan agreement that we should do, we should have programs that spend money helping the poor. Uh, and also there have not in the regular budget process, there haven't been major cuts in those programs. In fact, generally, they continue to increase. So I think there is a lot more bipartisanship here than most people assume there is. Ron, in a recent paper, you cited Lyndon Johnson's War on Poverty from the 1960s. Standing here and looking forward, the War on Poverty obviously continues. Do you think we're going to get a handle on it? We have a group of people at the bottom we know from very good studies that there's a lot of, there's a tendency for people at the bottom, for their kids also to be at the bottom. So for example, the best data we have, the bottom 20%, parents with income in the bottom 20%, their kids have a 42% chance of also winding up in the bottom and about less than a 5% chance to make it all the way to the top 20%. So the odds are stacked against the kind of mobility that America prides itself on. And so for that kind of reason, and that we're not making progress on non-marital births and marriage, we're not making progress on the pu in the public schools, we don't have an increasing percentage of poor kids going to college, which is where the real bucks are going to be. You know, these are all major problems that we face that we're not solving. Stay up to date with the latest research, learn about Brookings events, and search our directory of experts, all from your mobile device. To download Brookings for your BlackBerry, Android, iPhone, or iPad, go to brookings.edu slash mobile.